welcome back to my channel um this week's weigh-in was again a good one i'm really happy about it um today is saturday and the date is hold on a second saturday the 18th of april um it is a it's a saturday as I said, I started this last week, so this is my second episode of this new series. Um, and each week I'm just going to weigh in, tell you the things that I ate, um, tell you like the good things, the bad things, some like things that went, I think, well, things that might have been a bit more of a struggle. Um, and also like my weighing result, which is obviously, you know, while well, we're all here. Yeah, so this week was really good. We had um bank holiday weekend we obviously had the friday and we had the monday which i really wish happened more often because it was great <laughs> but it was a really long weekend um obviously it was filled with lots of like different um i wouldn't say different things it wasn't different things but we obviously had more time to do things um so over the weekend we did some gardening um we just chilled out we did like little jobs around the house that we needed to do um, yeah, so we did a couple of things like that. Um, during the rest of the week as well, we um, did quite a few um, evening walks. Just lovely to actually see somewhere outside of our house, um, which was lovely. And we got in so many steps. Um, I think if I posted on my Instagram, I hit like nearly 15,000 steps, which was amazing for me. Like that was really, really good for me. Um, the next day, my legs really ate. So I think my body just was not used to walking that far. But yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, so yeah, I thought I would go through the kind of things that I ate this week um, and then tell you what the result was. Right, okay, so some of the things I had for breakfast this week were things like um, Cheerios with semi-skimmed milk. I obviously weigh out my Cheerios. It depends how hungry I am. If I'm really, really hungry, then I'll go for like a 45 gram portion. Um, but if I'm not as hungry, I'll go for like a 30 gram portion and then maybe have something else like fruit or something to like subsidise it. Um, so yeah, I had some things like that. Um, I had a sourdough bagel from Marks and Spencers, which was really nice. So that was like something different that I don't, yeah, I don't usually have like sourdough bagels. So that was quite nice um, to try that with quite low in calories. Um, one morning I made myself scrambled egg on toast. Um, rather than going for two slices of bread like I normally would have done, I went for one slice and then added other stuff to my breakfast as well to fill me up. But I always find eggs really fill me up anyway. I think it's obviously because they're protein and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was um, that was really nice. Um, some other breakfasts I had. Again, I had more more Cheerios because I love Cheerios. Oh, <laughs> yesterday, which was Friday, was a bit of an oddball day. So basically, I booked the day off of work because me and my one of my best friends were actually meant to be going to see Pussycat Dolls. Um, which obviously didn't happen. Um, I decided to take the day off still um, and I did a huge deep clean of my house like cleaned out the um, insides of all my kitchen cupboards and um, like I did all the bits that you know when you never really have time to feel, fully like do them properly you kind of put off until you've got that kind of time. So I did all those kind of jobs and then last night I just enjoyed the house being like immaculate it was great. Um, so I burnt loads of calories yesterday but I had this absolute desire to make a cookie dough bar and i think it's because i've seen i think the last couple of weeks it's been like banana breads all over like facebook and instagram and stuff and i feel like this week is like um cookie black bars and one of my one of the youtubers that i watch actually made one with like mini eggs in it and we don't actually have any mini eggs um but she made it with mini eggs and oh my god i was literally drooling i kept saying to ross ross i really need to make cookies like i've got this I really like you know you just absolutely need to do something else. I absolutely absolutely need to make cookies so yesterday morning I got up and made the Bessie Crocker cookie mix into like a like a bar um and then topped it with some Smarties I have that um for breakfast and recover tea <laughs> so yeah it's it's been like a complete mixed bag um dinners I've had uh like cheesy pasta um with like a low calorie um pasta sauce um, another evening I had like a really bulky chicken salad. Um, what else have I had? We had enchiladas last night, which is like our Friday night thing. Um, we have Friday date night, so we sit and watch Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Um, or at least we have done for the last six weeks. Um, so we sit and watch that and we have enchiladas, which are amazing. Um, and we had 
that with some like little potatoes and stuff so yeah it's been like a really nice like mix of different things um i've also had lots of strawberries and stuff like that so yeah it's been like a it's been a general mix i've been using um my trampoline as i said in last week's video um i've done lots of walking again this week um i didn't do that much walking well i haven't done that much walking today so far i'm literally not i don't even think i'm up to a thousand steps which is pretty bad i'm on a thousand and seventy nine steps and it is currently as i'm filming this it's half past five in the evening <laughs> so you know that is pretty bad for me i've got a lot of steps to do in not a lot of time <laughs> but um yeah so it's been like just a mixed bag so i was really happy this morning when um i stepped on the scales and i'd lost a pound and i was so chuffed because you know what every weight loss i have no matter how big or small it is is getting me further towards like my end goal so um yeah it was a pound and you know some people might be quite disheartened i know that i probably would have been when I was losing weight before, I would have thought, oh, pounds, not very much. I've been working really hard this week. But actually, my new, like, mentality towards it is, this doesn't feel like I'm being restrictive. It doesn't feel like I'm on a diet. So if I'm losing weight, it's like a bonus. So that's, like, my outlook on it. So I'm losing weight, which is great. Um, so, yeah, being 12 stone 11 is, like, amazing for me. Like, I always know that when I'm in this sort of range, all of my clothes and my wardrobe sort of fit me the best. Um, so I've got things that I wear to work that I know, oh, when I'm around this kind of weight, I know they feel nice on me. Um, so yeah, I've got things like that, but I generally just feel pretty happy. Like, I'm happy that the scales are going down, and I know it's not all about the scales. A lot of it is about how you feel and things like that, and how your clothes fit you and your measurements, and I completely appreciate that as well, and I'm fully, like, on board with that. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in myself because I haven't taken any measurements for a really long time and I kind of feel like I really should do that because I think that's where sometimes you see most of the, the difference and the change. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a pound loss. I'm a step closer to where I want to be. Um, and I've always found when I've lost like a lot of weight, like when I initially lost a lot of weight, for me, I always will have a couple of weeks where I lose quite big. I'll have a week where I lose quite, like not a massive amount. And then I'll maintain and then I'll do like a similar cycle again and that just seems to be like how I work so um yeah I'm really happy with it so yeah I mean I can't wait for the day where I come on here and I say oh my god I'm you know 11 stone 12 I'll be absolutely chuffed a bit it's like I'll be so so happy um so yeah hopefully you know that day's not too far away um but yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that. I'm really happy with the results. So um, yeah, this next week, I'm just gonna carry on as I'm doing. Um, Ross did a food shop for us yesterday. So we're fully stocked now for like the next two weeks. We don't need to go out. Um, again, I'm just gonna be calorie counting, doing my exercise, um, going on the trampoline again. And you know what? Going back to what I said earlier about not seeing the weight all the time on the scales, I feel in myself like my waist is getting smaller um, and I don't know whether or not it's because of the things I'm doing on the trampoline and like the core like I'm working my core and stuff um, but I feel good so I feel like it's doing something like yeah overall I'm happy I think it's a good good thing next week I'm just gonna do what I'm doing just gonna carry on um, just be grateful for whatever comes off or whatever the result is um, and yeah I've got loads of really lovely things in the in the fridge to eat this week and like lovely but like healthy kind of things um so yeah i it was a really nice week so yeah thank you so much for watching episode two um and hopefully next week will be another loss and we can sit here and be a step closer to my wedding dress um yeah just the fact that i'm like 12 stone 11 makes me think oh my god i've only got two stone 11 to lose like i could do this i could do this so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week for my weekly weigh-in i hope you have a really good week hope you yeah hope it's just really nice hope the weather's like great for us and uh yeah i hope, hope you're all good on your side and thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon bye